the family roots of our Lord Jesus Christ, our own family root. As we get closer to the celebration of the coming of the Lord Jesus at Christmas, the church presents us today with a list of the family root of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Jesus, the son of Abraham. Abraham is the father of the believers. And God has promised to unite all nations around his race. And so the coming of Jesus is the fulfillment of that promise. So as promised to Israel, Jesus is also the son of David. If we trace the history of all the kings of Israel, the descendants of David played a part, a big role in sacred history. And some of these people, some of these kings, had very wonderful reputation, others bad reputation. Of course, we can remember the end of King Saul, the very first king, how he ended. But you notice, my dear brothers and sisters, one from these roots of Jesse came down to save sinners and to open the kingdom of Israel to the multitudes coming from the pagan world, the one we are expecting, the Messiah we are waiting for. According to some preachers, this list of the family lineage of Jesus represents what Jesus inherited from Joseph, his foster father. And Jesus will hand down this spiritual inheritance from Israel to his own people, the church, you and I. The Lord Jesus takes root in our human race. He is the fruit of many centuries of history, marked by suffering and sin, but also by hope and by grace. As Christians, as religious men and women, we trace our own family lineage back to him who has come to save us. He is our leader the wisdom of the Almighty God. He is our root, our Emmanuel. God is with us. And so, my dear friends in Christ, as we reflect on this genealogy of our Lord Jesus Christ, we trace our own Dominican family root back to him, beginning with our blessed father Dominic, up to the present master of the order, Brother Gerard Timone the third. As we see in our first reading today, in the person of Judah blessed by his father, the father has a lot to say about him. And after this, he blessed him. Every family has his, his particular traits. So in our Dominican family, we have our own family heritage. We have our own family traits. We have our family guiding principles. And as a community, we must remind ourselves of these principles. To be together, to be of one heart and of one mind, sharing everything in common. Living together fraternally. My dear brothers, we have spent these 10 days of canonical visitation to share and reflect on our Dominican life as a community. Reflecting on the four pillars of our Dominican life. Each one of us must remind himself that I belong to a family, the family that the root could be traced down to our blessed father Dominic and ask himself, how is my life reflecting the life of our blessed father Dominic, whose root is also in Jesus Christ, the one we are expecting at Christmas? The history of the present times, dear ones, as well as the history of our families, 
prepare for the second coming of Christ to humankind. We must not forget our family roots and we must always represent, be the ambassadors of our family, the Christian family, our Dominican family. Dedicar.